welcome back for this video let us see the difference between diode and the power diode so normally the semiconductor device is nothing but it is used to controlling the charge carriers <coughs> that is more charge carriers in the semiconductor material means uh, there is a, a current driving capability of the particular semiconductor devices will be more so the semiconductor devices are normally classified as intrinsic semiconductor and the extrinsic semiconductor so intrinsic semiconductor means the pure form of semiconductor is called as intrinsic semiconductor so that uh, pure form of the semiconductor is not having any impurities so the resistance of that pure semiconductor is more and uh, the extrinsic extrinsic semiconductor means in the pure semiconductor just we are going to add some adding some impurities means that is called as extrinsic semiconductor that is we are adding some impurities in that pure semiconductor so that uh, semiconductor is called as extrinsic semiconductor so the process of adding impurities is called as doping and if the impurities are added means automatically the charge carriers in that particular semiconductor is more so that the resistance will be reduced that is the current flowing through that uh, some extrinsic semiconductor is more as compared to the int intrinsic semiconductor and now let us see what is p-type material and the n-type material so here see p-type material and n-type material normally the semiconductor materials are two types p-type layer and n-type layer the p-type layer is doped by adding some trivalent that is how we are making the pure p-type uh, material into a uh, impure form that is the uh, extrinsic semiconductor means just we are adding the trivalent atom into the p-type material so that it will act as a extrinsic semiconductor and the n-type layer also we are going to add uh, some additional atom that is called pentavalent atom so that that is called the extrinsic semiconductor that is how we are changing the pure semiconductor into extrinsic semiconductor means by adding these uh, atom that is impurity atoms into the p-layer and n-layer so that we are changing the intrinsic semiconductor material into extrinsic semiconductor material you know, just uh, remember p is nothing but the p type so t it is the trivalent atom that is just remember after the alphabet p we are getting the alphabet t so that the trivalent atom will be added to the p type material in the n type material see this one here in the n type material uh, the pentavalent atom will be added that is after uh, the alphabet n we are getting the alphabet p so like this uh, is uh, one of the shortcut method to uh, remember uh, where we want to add the trivalent atom and where we want to add the pentavalent atom so as to make the pure form of the semiconductor material into uh, impure form that is a uh, extrinsic semiconductor material and the uh, doping normally increases the current flow in the particular semiconductor material that is it reduces the resistance so here consider this is the p and n junction and in that p and n uh, layers are uh, combined together so that it will make one junction that is called p n junction so if you are adding the imp without adding any impurities into the p and n type layer that is called int intrinsic semiconductor so that the depletion layer with that is width of the depletion layer in that in, in, intrinsic semiconductor is more the depletion layer we are having uh, the stationary uh, ions so the resistance will be more so that the width of the depletion layer is also more the current uh, value is normally very low in that uh, intrinsic semiconductor suppose if the p and n layer are doped by adding some impurity atoms like trivalent and pentavalent atoms that will act as the extrinsic semiconductor and in that uh, extrinsic semiconductor the width of the depletion layer is reduced because of addition of uh, that impurity atoms into the pure form of p and n layer so if the depletion layer is reduced means automatically the resistance will be reduced so that current flowing through this type of semiconductor material is more as compared to current flowing through this intrinsic semiconductor material so normally in the p we are having the more holes that is called majority carrier there is more number of holes are available in the p type per material so that are called majority charge carriers and less amount of uh, electrons are present so that is called minority charge carriers so both the p and n layers are having holes and electrons p layer is having more number of uh, holes that is called majority charge carrier 
n layer is having more number of electrons that is called majority charge carrier in addition to the majority charge carriers these two layers are having some amount of electron that is in the p layer we are having some uh, minimum number of holes that is called minority charge carrier in the n type material the major part is electrons and the minimum number of uh, holes are present so that holes are called minority charge carrier in that n type material and uh, now let us see what is uh, analog electronics versus digital electronics what is the main difference between the devices used in the analog electronics and the digital electronics so normally the analog electronics we are using the normal diode the diode is only used for low voltage and low current application but in the power electronics the diode used is power diode so the name will differ from the analog electronics to power electronics is here we are using the normal diode but here we are using the power diode the power it means it is used for high voltage and high current and also high power applications this diode is used for high voltage high power and high current applications and that uh, diode used in the analog electronics is used for already said that low voltage and low current and the power diode used for high voltage and high current applications now let us see normal diode is having low voltage and low current how to modify that low voltage low current normal diode into power diode right the structure wise both are different so let us see to make that normal diode to produce a high current just we are going to add some impurities additional impurities in that particular same p and n type layer right the current in that uh, low voltage low current diode is increased by adding more impurities if you are adding more impurities more charge carriers so that the current is also increased so just we are putting the plus symbol and the top of p and n layer it, this plus it means more number of impurities are added into the normal p and n layer so that the current and the current will be increased right that is we are increasing the doping concentration in the normal p and n layer so that uh, it carries more current so that is the, that is also if you are adding more impurities the width of the depletion layer is reduced so that it carries more current so we are making the normal p and diode for high uh, the from low current into high current and how we are getting high voltage from the normal diode just we are going to reducing the amount of impurities right so here we just we are going to reducing the amount of impurities or doping level in that particular p and n layer so that we are getting high voltage that is if you are reducing the impurities the depletion layer with is uh, somewhat increased so if the depletion layer with is increases automatically the resistance is more so that the voltage is also more across the depletion layer so that the high voltage is obtained uh, from the same p and n type layer by reducing the amount of impurities added into the particular atom so minus it represents we are reducing the doping level of the particular semiconductor material and here see this is called p and n material are joined together this is called p n junction so p n junction diode means this is the p n junction created by p and n layer connected together if you are adding two terminals and one cathode anode is connected to the p type material and cathode is connected to the n type material so this whole structure is called as the p n junction diode normal junction means the junction created between p and n layer p n junction diode means additionally we are adding two terminals anode and cathode so that we are getting the p n junction diode so what diode means di means two and that is two terminals electrode there are two electrodes anode and cathode so now our last three letters of electrode is ode so that we are getting the name diode diode means there are two terminals that p and n uh, layer there is p n junction we are using two new terminals so it is called as the diode and let us see let us see how we are getting the capacitance effect from the uh, p n junction diode so here this is the p n n layer connected together it will create the junction and here anode and cathode so across the p n junction the depletion layer will be created so this depletion layer is normally having the holes and electrons these are all uh, immobile ions that is stationary in position so here there is no current in this area right so this dotted line represent 
depletion layer so inner part of this layer there are immobile ions so there is no, no movement of uh, ions in that uh, depletion layer so that uh, there is no current is flowing through the depletion layer so here here we are having the holes in this line on this uh, left side we are having the holes due to the p-type material and this uh, n-type material producing the electrons this side center portion uh, it will act as the dielectric medium that is it, it does not uh, allow any current flowing through it so consider the capacitor means what one plate this is in positive plate and negative plate so this positive ions are produced by the p-type material and this uh, electrons are produced by the uh, n-type material and in between that the depletion layer will create a dielectric medium right here we are having the immobile ions so it will act as the dielectric medium depletion layer will act as the dielectric medium so that finally we are getting the capacitive capacitance effect in the p-n junction diode that particular capacitance is called as the parasitic capacitance so an analog diode means a normal diode normal p-n and n layers are connected uh, and junction will be created and the terminals like anode and cathodes are connected in the p-type uh, and the n-type layer so that we are getting the analog diode normal diode is used for low voltage and low current application power diode means what already i said that that low voltage low current uh, normal diode is converted into high current and high voltage diode by adding additional impurities that is p plus it represents more impurities are added in the p layer so here also the impurities are added so for example after adding the impurities here we are having the tin holes right the majority carrier in the p layer is tin but here we are adding more impurities as compared to the num amount of impurities added in the p type layer in that normal diode so here if uh, after adding the more amount of impurities in this layer for example here we are having 50 holes like that right so here the amount of uh, holes uh, will be 10 but uh, in that power diode the amount of uh, holes will be 50 right that is heavily doped for and here n plus also we are at n plus this plus represent more impurities are added in the n layer this is also having some amount of impurities after adding impurities to the n layer here the number of electrons will be for example 15 okay right suppose here if we want to modify this uh, normal diode into power diode here again it is uh, heavily doped we are adding a uh, more amount of impurities in the n layer so that uh, here we are getting some uh, 40 electrons like that right so compare this p and n layer with the normal diode these are the, this p layer also uh, doped right that is impurities added but it is having 10 holes here and another uh, again that p layer is uh, doped more so that we are getting the 50 holes in the p plus layer so this addition of more impurities in the p and n plus plus this represent these are all heavily doped so that we are increasing the current of the power diode here we are getting the low current here we are getting a high current by adding more impurities in the p and n layer right so here we are getting the voltage low voltage so how we are getting the high voltage so again we are adding another one n minus minus means we are reducing the doping level we are reducing the amount of impurities added into the n layer right so the just we are reducing the amount of impurities in the n layer so that uh, it is represented by n minus this is for uh, increasing the if you are reducing the doping level automatically that the uh, width of the depletion layer will be increased so that the resistance will be more in that particular depletion layer if you are increasing the resistance voltage also increased okay this is the relationship so if you are uh, adding more impurities the current the charge carrier will be more in the particular region so that the current will be increased if you are reducing the doping level reducing the amount of impurities automatically the current is reduced but the voltage is increased a lot so like that the normal diode is converted into power diode by adding impurities and reducing the impurities finally we are getting the power diode it is used for high voltage and high current applications thank you for watching and if you are new to this channel kindly subscribe our channel triple encyclopedia 
and if you like this video kindly share it to your friends also